Hello. Yes. In the process whereby someone is suffering from the lust of the flesh. Lust of the flesh. Yes. Example. What is lust of the flesh? For Immorality. example, masturbation. Okay. Or lesbianism. And you are praying. Praying in tongues. Pray. You are in the process of prayers. And you are still having the feelings. In the process of praying, oh, you are still struggling and struggling. You are trying to pray. The spirit is just trying and trying. So, sir. What do you What's do? the way forward? God bless you. Thank you. He's been very sincere. Look, let me tell you the truth. The goal of this question and answer session is to help us grow spiritually. There's nothing embarrassing about it. Praise God. There are people like that. In fact, I've seen people who are suffering from immorality or lust and they're on three days dry. On the third day, before they break with food, are we together now? The devil does some kind of things, positions, the same lady they used to sleep with and it happens again or internet pornography or whatever we've seen these kinds of cases so um do you know what deliverance is deliverance is not just coughing out things and rolling around and pushing chairs and bringing people here deliverance is the spiritual mechanism with which a man is separated from a spirit or an influence over his life are we together now there are three dimensions or three levels that access satan in a man's life number one is called covenants covenants it is usually the strongest of the three number two is disobedience or ignorance number two is ignorance then number three is disobedience now the danger of covenant and ties is that your personal salvation does not take away the covenant that is in a territory. Are we together now? That is the reason why someone can be born again. There are still corrupt people in Nigeria. But are you corrupt? No. Are we together now? Nigeria is termed a corrupt nation. Yet there are righteous people who are true. Are we together now? The earth is the Lord. Yet they are still bombing children and disturbing people. So there are covenants. A covenant is a legal agreement between spirit entities and human beings or fellow human beings right that either opens up access for good or of evil covenants have consequences right they can they can they can transcend generations so this is very important that's why you find out that the classic sign of covenants is that there must be a pattern to it the moment there is a covenant involved in any process there is a pattern if these three guys are brothers and you find out that michael is very rich kenny is very rich promise is very rich you see that pattern there is a covenant that grant that access promise very poor kenny very poor michael struggling there is also a pattern so patterns are usually communications that the access point for the realm of the spirit in that situation is a covenant so you find out that a father is an armed robber. When he stole, his son did not know. Many years later, the son will also come and steal. Have you seen people like that? The same pattern that happened to their parents repeats themselves. Because the patterns are a spiritual formula. There is an enchantment like a spell that makes it happen. I know a lady who, who I, I, I think um, um, she got pregnant. And the person who got her pregnant, I think was a man of God same thing happened to her mother same thing happened to her grandmother one reverend in their village got the grandmother pregnant many years later one one evangelist or something got the mother pregnant and then now one brother in a fellowship gets the lady pregnant. now that brother does not know the reverend that got uh, uh, um, grandma pregnant that time when she was young but then the truth remains that there is a pattern a, a week together are you getting it now and i know that sometimes many of us are preached into believing they don't exist and we try to explain them away but the truth is is there it can be dealt with potentially the birth of jesus gives us access to victory in this thing but there is the experience of establishing that victory are we together number two is ignorance 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 grants access to demon spirits they manipulate on the ignorance of men and open them up to certain tragic manifestations then number three is disobedience you know it but your capacity to walk thereof in that obedience is not there so these are the three access points so if you find out that you are praying praying 
and fasting about the issue of lust or immorality or any entanglement and it's repeating itself you need help that's the reason why god puts um gifts to the body to be able to help right remember our teaching for this cause many are weak many are sick and many do sleep god has elected certain people in the body of christ and created platforms that can be able to help people deal with these things that's why we organize miracle services that's why we organize um, um, all kinds of meetings that's why when we come to god's presence like this we take our time to soak in the glory so that the presence and the power of god can come and then address some of these things so for that brother you may need help seek help look for an anointed man of god not just a counselor somebody with an anointing that has been demonstrated to produce results and it can help you